Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn changing website content using jQuery. How simple it is by calling JavaScript elements and uh, the JavaScript like a different different type of tag IDs to handle and change the website content, web page content you see in this lecture. Like making the events is very simple thing. Okay? Let's see now how it is. And you know that till we have uh, seen that picture of how to like a uh, calling like a JavaScript like a C jQuery library by handling this thread. Having that one one thing what I am doing to here like see one by one I'll demonstrate you here like a uh, very simple example I have to create. Let's see here. First of all, I am taking a very simple P tag, three P tags and three buttons. Based on the button action, the P tag text or content will be changed. How it is, we'll see. Okay. Now P space ID. Sorry. Yeah. P space ID. A p tag will create first this id equal to taking two uh, like one and uh, this is default paragraph and uh, one more p tag i'm taking at the id equal to like well two this is second paragraph. If you are not aware of HTML, you can go through our HTML lectures where you will be known very simply how to like uh, write the p tag and all. Right now, one more here. I'm writing something like um, the ID for uh, input text box. Like a input text box and uh, input a tag type text ID equal to something around uh, val three val one value one value two value three likewise I'm taking okay strongly remember the value here what is the value here is given here hello learner Hello, learner. Okay, now what I'm doing is to make uh, something the button. If I press the button, I want to change this uh, particular text and all. Now, let's see here. I'm making three buttons very simple button one, button two, button three. Just take me a copy, save our time. Yes. Button ID like a BTN one, BTN two, BTN three. Three IDs are taken. Change text, change HTML, change value. I have taken. I press the button. I want to change the things of uh, values. I see these three things are here. Change text, change HTML like a uh, change HTML, change value. These three things are given. Based on that actions, the values should be changed. All right. Now I am going to implementing here with our jQuery. How it is very very simple, pretty simple. You may uh, think about it. Wow, this is the this is just simple. Script pen and the and the tag of the script, and in between you can write like JavaScript. You can define the thing. Okay, so we we have discussed about it in the earlier session also. Document dot like uh, within the braces we have to place this document like uh, within the parentheses Delete. coding my editor is uh, playing with the games with me document write dot ready and uh, open and close and uh, within this what we want to do here like a function function get ready function Therefore, ever 
Okay. And, uh, now within that function, what we we have to discuss here, what what we have to define here, see here, open and braces, right? Make it is like this. This is the script is required to like uh, initiate your writing of the jQuery. The jQuery is ready state. We are prepared now. Okay. Now what we have uh, to call the HTML and uh, to be changed. First, we'll hit the button output like uh, hitting the button to be changed either HTML or text on all three buttons we have prepared. Like see here, one, two, three. Based on that actions, we'll uh, appropriately take an as necessary action of this paragraph text, right? Whatever we'll see, come here, come back here, and uh, let's check. The first one I'm writing like uh, calling an ID of the button, like uh, making this availability and uh, hashtag. For the hashtag, it will say that the ID of the button, btn1 here and when I am click the event is raised when the click event is raised function I'm prepared for a click event function for the function and uh, within I open and end the parenthesis here and uh, you make it as a terminate now what I am writing here what to do when the function event is raised and again I'm calling one more ID what is the ID of paragraph? That is the first button which I have a specified change text. Here I have given change text. So what I am doing here, that paragraph ID val1 I am taking. Val1. Now dot txt. I am going to changing this uh, like a paragraph text here. Like uh, I am passing the text. Hello. Um, Text to changed using like a jQuery. That's it. That's enough. I hope that you have added more things. That's enough. Let's see and uh, test with this functionality. All right. Like uh, two things we have added here and terminated with this. Refresh. Refresh. Change text for this. This is the functionality we have prepared here. For so, I am writing this thing over here. Change text. Not uh, called by this. Check. Wait. And reload. Change text. Now, let me check one more thing. Something have I missed here. For so called script is available here. And uh, BTN1, sorry. The ID tag is missed. Oh, save it. The ID hashtag is missed out. Reload. Oh, change text. Wow. Wow. This is the default text like paragraph. As you observe here, this is the default paragraph. And by making the JavaScript like a with along with the JavaScript and the jQuery functionality, I'm calling this particular like a I'm hitting like I'm making an action from this ID. By pressing the change text, this ID is called here. And uh, the functionality, what it is written for the function, click function. And uh, what I'm doing, I have uh, called this ID of paragraph ID, this one, val ID. By hash indicates the calling the ID. And the text I have used here to like uh, replace that particular ID text is hello, I am text to be changed using. Jquery. Now save this and like uh, hit the button change text. Hello, I am text you change for using jQuery. That's it about to changing of our website content. Using the jQuery from where to where you want to by hitting one button if you want to change something. Yes, you can use this. There is small buttons making and clicking that button and you can make it wonders. Likewise, we'll see like uh, some two buttons are also uh, like prepared. If you are familiar of this button, take here how I am saying here. If you are familiar to write and understand about this button, just take a copy of these two lines. Copy, paste over here. And what is the IDs are there? You can just simply change the ID to button two, ID to 
that's it over the second one also is over hello i am text you changed using the second one let's check wait okay. refresh first one is changed change html hello i am changed using second one that's it once you understand very clearly the first one is important whenever we are initiating the programming the first initial one is important and essential next things onwards you will easily understand but i'm really sure about that and now the third one or uh, as usual i'm calling the things like uh, changing of uh, three of the button and uh, three of the value and uh, what i'm giving here instead of text strongly remember instead of text the text box we have called with value hello learner it is showing so hello learner see based on that text if it, it is a value no so we are calling here it is in a value and hello i am text you have changed something you have written instead of this big line you try to make it as a small this is patient you learn how to call uh, like uh, how to call um, ev and strings of uh, ht and uh, five save it and reload whenever you are saving something in javascript html CSS. What you have to do is refresh the page and test with the button. Now, hello learner is the default text. Change value. See, we learn how to call events of for HTML. In jQuery. That's all about uh, this session. I hope you are having a good understand how to make it as an ready state of jQuery functionality and how to use the like a uh, raising and collecting of the events and uh, making the like uh, calling the like ids of uh, which particular you want to focusing and all will be covered here and uh, in the next lecture we'll see more and more thank you for watching this lecture thank you